Welcome back. This is Ryan Crandall of 3D Yoga. Another balance and mobility class for seniors, but of course it's for everyone. So let's go ahead and get started. Find yourself in a comfortable location. And as always, kind of shake everything out. Get the kinks out. Just get a sense of connecting the mind to the body, the body to the mind. Of course, they're always connected, but I think you know what I mean. And then let's go ahead and take the hands behind the back and interlock the fingers and pull the shoulder blades down. And let's go ahead and look up and look down and look up and down. And then look right and left. So we're going to do this a little bit differently today. Just go in a little bit different order just to tweak things a little different. Center, ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. And circle the head. Nice big circle, a couple times around, switch directions. Good, and then take the arms down by the sides. I'm going to have you turn your arms in and then turn them out nice and tall. Turn them in, round, get a little short. Turn them out nice and tall. One more time, turn them in and turn them out nice and tall. And then hands to the hips and let's just bump that hip. Making the hip go beyond the foot on the ground. And then take it into a circle, a little spiral here. And switch directions, spiral. Good, and I'm gonna have you turn your hips to the left, pivot on the right foot, turn the hips to the right, pivot on the left foot. So just a little pivot, a little pivot. Little pivot one more time to the right, pivot, and then back to center. Let's go and take the hands to the thighs, push the knees together and apart. You like my socks? Still a little cold in here, although the high today should be 70. It's in the maybe 50 degrees in here. Circle the knees, feel the feet as you circle, go in the other direction. Big circle, big circle, and big circle. And then back to center, and then we're gonna forward fold, come down. See how low you can go, and then inhale up, reach high. Exhale, go down. Inhale, go up, reach. Exhale, down. Hello, hammy. Inhale up. Hello, tummy. One more. Down. And up. And take the hands down by the sides. Just get comfortable. And I want a slight bend in the knees, and then I want you to straighten it, lock it out. Slight bend in the knees and then straighten and then slowly start to just bend and straighten, but don't lock. So the body is going down and up, down and up to the ankles, the knees. Almost looks like you're riding a horse. Just feel, connect this to the lower extremities. And then a slight bend in the knees, about shoulder width of the feet. And we're just going to shift from side to side. So you're going to feel the feet pushing into the ground. You're going to feel the left a little more when you push into the left side. You're going to feel the right a little more when you go to the right side. If you want to close your eyes, you can. Just be safe about it. And then center, and then we're going to shift forward to the forefoot, and then slowly shift back to the arch towards the heel. Keep the knees slightly bent. The hips and shoulders are traveling together. And again, you're feeling the ground beneath the feet. Good. Now, go into a circle now. So you're feeling the outside edges of the feet, the inside edges of the feet as you navigate or circumduct around or circular around whatever the word is you know what I'm saying right good go in the other direction 
slow it down. Take your time. Take your time. Good. All right. Moving into the next one, let's go ahead and go a little bit wider than, well, I'm going to go a little bit wider. You don't have to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift to my right foot to the point where my left foot can lift off the ground. I'm going to shift to my left foot all the way so that my hip is beyond the foot on the ground until I can lift my right foot off the ground. Because if I just lift my foot, it's we've got gravity, right? It's just the physics of it don't, don't work. No matter how strong I am in this hip, I can't just lift unless I shift. So shift, then lift, okay? Let's just practice that a little while. Feel free to open the eyes or close. What you choose. add some arms in here. So crane from Tai Chi. So arms are going to be nice and relaxed. As I shift to one leg, it's like a string from the ceiling attached to my wrists. It's pulling up. My shoulders and elbows are light. I'm going to come down, double foot stance, come up. Nice and light. Easy going. It might even make it easier to balance, although the coordination may be a little a bit of a challenge for some of us. Slowing it down a little bit here. back to center. I'm going to put my left foot in front, my right foot in back, and I'm going to just transfer my weight to my back foot, but I'm not going to try to lean back. I'm just trying to shift through my feet, shift through my knee, shift through my hips. So now I have probably 70% of my weight on the back leg, maybe a little more because I could practically lift my front foot, but you get the gist. Shift back and then shift forward. Shift to the back leg, Shift to the foreleg. Good, and just play with that a little bit. Feel the ground, and then add the arms. As you're going forward, you're gonna push. As you come back, you're gonna pull. So push, pull, push, pull. One more, push, and then pull. And then shift your weight all the way to the back leg so you can lift the front leg, hold it for a couple seconds if you can, and then bring it back. Switch feet, same thing other side. So let's start by sh shifting to the back leg. Feel the weight shift. So we're, again, we're trying not to do this by leaning back. We're shifting back through the ankle, the knee, and the hip, and then shifting forward through the same mechanism. So shift back, feel more weight on the back leg. Shift forward, feel more weight on the foreleg. And continue. in the arms. As you come back, the arms pull back. And as you go forward, you push. Pull. Push. Pull. Push. Good. A couple more. Pull. Push. Last one. Pull. Shift to the back leg to the point where you can lift that right leg off the ground completely now and then come back to two-legged stance. Thank you very much. This is Ryan Crandall of 3D Yoga. 
Please share the videos, share the channel. I'm here to help the world move better, move more, and with less pain, and to have our seniors and others who are in the category of fall risk to have that lowered. Thank you so much.